This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Phoenix police have arrested a man that they say admitted to killing his girlfriend and hurting her six-year-old son. It happened Sunday morning near 51st Avenue in Southern. William Calvin allegedly told police he shot Dolores Smith during an argument, then cut her son with a knife. We're told the child is okay. Calvin was booked on murder, child abuse, and kidnapping charges. The Border Patrol captured a man they are describing as a potential terrorist entering the United States illegally. The 21-year-old migrant was captured in the Yuma sector. Border Patrol agents say he's from Saudi Arabia and is linked to subjects of interest from Yemen. They say the jacket he was wearing is from a volunteer ambulance corporation in upstate New York, but the head of the emergency services there says the man has no affiliation with them. Well, nine people here in Arizona were taken into custody, accused of stealing more than $23 million from the pandemic relief program. PPP loans were designed to keep businesses afloat during the pandemic. Prosecutors contend a Mesa couple lied about running a business and needing $13 million for payroll. Instead, authorities say they use that money to buy million, million dollar homes and fancy cars. They now face a slew of charges. Meteorology and Schwartz here, 71 degrees for your high today. More clouds out there Wednesday, 71. Introducing rain chances for Thursday. Friday, about a 50% chance to see rain. That's Christmas Eve. And we could even see some of those showers uh, heading into Christmas Day. So it looks like a wet holiday for some of us in Arizona. Ah, here we go. All right, thank you, Ian. Well, for updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Good morning, Arizona.